everyone welcome back to my channel I hope that everybody is doing well and today I'm back with the first impression video on a new product that I bought and I'm excited to try it out so I'm going to be trying out the cream contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills if you guys want to see if I liked it how it worked for me then keep on watching so this is how the packaging looks like it's just a regular packaging and then in the, and then in the back it has all the shades and I'm in the color medium and then when you pull it out of the packaging, they have a new packaging because the old one was all black. And when I was like debating on getting it, it was all black, but they changed it. And then it still has the plastic on here because like I haven't even tried it. So I'm going to take it off. I was waiting to do a review for this for you guys. Like a first impression to try it out because I haven't even tried it out. And I really like the new packaging that they did because it's not too bulky and it's just right. So the first color I'm going to be taking is this kind of like peach color. It's called Warm Coral. I'm going to put it under my eyes because I haven't been really sleeping too much. So this is the color that I'm going to be using first. So I'm just going to dip my finger in it. I'm going to use my fingers to like put it under my eyes and just blend it out just a little bit. It feels really creamy and it's really like buttery. Buttery. So I'm going to put it under this eye first. So how it feels like under my eyes, it feels like it dries like really fast. So we'll see. So this is just to conceal like my dark circles. So I'm going to be blending it out with my beauty blender. Okay guys, and I'm going to take this banana shade here to highlight and then I'm gonna take this color and then this one here I'm gonna take ash no I'm sorry I'm gonna take cinnamon and then I'm going to take chocolate to contour my face so again you guys I'm gonna be using my fingers to just apply it on my face and I'm gonna take the banana color first and put it under my eyes And you know what I think is better is to tap the product in instead of like how I did right now like this. I think it's just better to tap it in because it feels like it blends in more evenly. And then I'm going to take it on the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead and then on my chin. And then you know what, I'm just going to put some on my jawline so when I contour, I can just blend that out. I'm going to take cinnamon and chocolate together and then just contour my face. Oh look at that, that's really pigmented. <laughs> And then I'm going to put it on a little bit on the side of my forehead. You guys don't have to wear any foundation when you do a lot of cream products. You could if you want, but I'm going to try it out without foundation to see how it works for my skin. Just follow me on Snapchat, you guys, and I'll let you guys know in an update how it lasted throughout the day. So I'm just going to take my Dap Beauty Blender and just blend out the highlight colors and then the contour. I have to say you guys is that this really dries fast so it's kind of like hard to blend. It really is kind of hard to blend. I guess when you put it on, you should blend it out right away because it's like kind of hard to blend. It's not that easy. You see like on my forehead, 
Like, I'm like doing it like really hard. So that's kind of a bummer, you know, that it's not that blendable. Like, I guess you have to like put it on first and then blend like right away. Cause it is kind of hard to blend with the blend with the beauty blender. I think I got this when it was on sale. I didn't pay full price for it. You guys, I'm gonna take a uh, brush to blend out the contour because it is kind of hard to blend with the beauty blend. This is a Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush. So I'm gonna blend this here like upwards. And that jingling is my bracelets. I'm sorry if that's annoying. That's what it is. So I'm just blending it. That's like really harsh, right? You guys, I'm gonna um I'm gonna add this foundation because you can see my blemishes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation and then just blend it in with everything else. I think when you first apply it, you have to blend it right away because it was hard to blend. So next time I'll try that. I do like to set my face when I use like cream products. And then I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder to set my under eyes and then... And then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild palette just to go just to go over the top of the cream contour that I put in my face, so that way it sets. And then I'm gonna take some blush. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop and Peach Pop. I'm just. Gonna And then I'm just going to take this Starlight Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just put it on top of my cheekbones. And then I'm just going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus just so I don't have like that powdery look. So this is the final look on how it looks like. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it was kind of hard to blend. That was my only con, was hard to blend. It is creamy, but it dries very quickly. So if you're gonna apply like one eye, blend that one eye out. But other than that, the creaminess of it, the pigmentation is really good. Just, it's if you leave it to dry, it's very hard to blend. Those are my first impressions. But I'm going to keep trying it and letting you guys know like if I apply it and then blend it out if it's easier to blend with my beauty blender and with the brush. But this completes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.